There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? me again oh oh you have no right to dump your unfinished business Hold on. on me now, i'm tracking down my killer okay someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago and if wait a minute you, you can see me and hear me <laughs> You're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't, ain't I the luckiest guy in the world? I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you anything. You owe me. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you is... Horrible. And you, you saved my life. So, what do you want? I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? Do you have any idea who he is? You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is. Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Thought you were gonna ask me something. Thought you... So where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word, never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. 
Look, assuming the worst never helped no one. I thought you were gonna ask me something. Fine. Don't talk. See what I care. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. I'm telling you, I'm out of here soon. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. I'm telling you, I'm out of here soon. Thought you were gonna ask me something. Respectable living? Yeah, hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some bell killer book. And it's in her handwriting. Bell killer book. If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. No way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but... Your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. There they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Whoa, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead. I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. I can't let her get away. There's gotta be another way down.
I don't know, Angie. Brian is a lovely boy, but I worry about his family. Well, his mother does seem to be a bit of a heartbeat, but Brian's worth it. Yeah, I think so too, dear. It's just that Shelley didn't grow up around boisterous people, and I worry about the pressures of their relationship. Oh, Sheila, they'll be <laughs> You know they'll have a long, happy life together. But seriously, not you. Those air vents okay? Oh, yes, sir. Just regularly. Wait! Come back! Even so soon, dear? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait out, Father. Be careful out there, amateur. gotten into you. So, where'd she go, huh? Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. She'll blend in well there. Do you know her mother worked for the police? Fine. Don't tell me. Puss.
I'm gonna head back to the station. <laughs>